folks, how's it going? 64 Bit Math here with another video. Now, for this one, it's all box N64 games. Uh, Nate and Ian actually helped me find some box N64 games I needed. So, I got most of these from the same place, except for two. One of them I got in a trade with Ian, and the other one was just another store that we stopped at, had a game I needed, so I bought it there. So, I'll show you the one that I got at the store that I only picked up the one game at and that is Blast Corpse. I did have it loose but they had it boxed complete for I think I'm pretty sure it was 10 bucks so I figured for 10 bucks I'd pick it up and I could at least get 5 bucks for the loose cartridge that I already had so I figured that was a good deal. May as well upgrade to a complete box one. So for the next 11 games that I'm going to show you um, they were all found at the same place um, a little store that Ian and Nate knew about. So thanks again to you guys for showing me around and showing me this cool spot. I really appreciate it. And yeah, 11 games. Um, they're all N64 games. And they're all cartridge and boxed. Um, about half of them have the manuals, half don't. But just the fact that they were boxed cartridge N64 games, I was pretty excited. And as mentioned, there's 11 of them. And I think it worked out to, like, they all had different prices, but in the end it worked out to about five bucks a game, which anytime you can get boxed games for five bucks, it, it's a pretty good deal, at least around here. So, yeah, I'm just going to jump in and show you what I got. First up, PGA European Tour. Happy to have it. It's one of the ones I needed for my complete collection. All of these, in fact, are ones I needed for my collection. Some of these are going to be games that I don't plan on playing anytime soon. But some of them actually look pretty fun, so it's a good mix of games. So PGA European Tour. Also got World Cup 98. Got Cyber Tiger. Because who wouldn't want to be Tiger Woods? It actually doesn't look that bad of a game. But I've never played it before, so I could be mistaken. Uh, do, 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 do. Nagano Winter Olympics 98. Yeah, needed it for the collection, so for the price, couldn't go wrong. NFL Blitz. Happy to have this one. The Blitz games are usually pretty fun. They're just a quick, fun, arcade style football game that you can jump in, play, and but yeah, they last like five minutes, so yeah, pretty fun. Picked up MRC, Multi Racing Championship, I believe. This one actually looks pretty fun. I already had the cartridge for this one, but the fact I needed the box and manual, and I was able to pick up the whole thing for five bucks, pretty happy about that. So I figured it was worth it. WrestleMania 2000. This one is actually a box upgrade for me. Uh, I did have this one boxed, but it was in rough shape. So now I have cartridge, uh, instruction manual, and box. So it's fully complete and in fair better shape than before. So again, for five bucks, it was worth upgrading. Army Men Sarge's Heroes 2. Happy to add it to the collection. Chopper Attack. The box is a little bit bent. But again, fully complete for five bucks. I'm not going to turn it away, especially because it's one I still need. So happy with that. Uh, Hydro Thunder. This one actually looks pretty good. Um, apparently, it is kind of a fun racing game. So I'm actually excited to try this one out soon. Happy to pick it up. Load Runner 3D. This is the last one that I got from the store. So this is number 11. This one, Box Complete, I believe is like a 35-ish dollar game. I might be wrong. I haven't checked the price in a while. Um, but I picked it up for five, so happy to get it for that price, regardless of what it's worth. Looks kind of fun. So yeah, that's what I got from just that one store, the 11 games, five bucks a piece on average, so really can't complain for that. And yeah, the last game I'm going to show in this video is a game that I got in a trade with my good buddy Ian from the Thrift Dweller channel. 
he actually came across two of these. So he picked both of them up because he texted me and asked if I needed it. And I said I did. Uh, it's box and cartridge. So I have to find a manual sometime, but I'm not too worried because I'm more concerned about finding boxes in the games. So very happy to trade him for this one. Thanks, Ian, for picking it up and trading it to me. It's appreciated that you and Nate keep an eye out for stuff in Winnipeg for me and text me and pick stuff up when needed, so thanks. And anyway, that game is StarCraft 64. Uh, it's a little bit bent at the bottom, but overall the box is in pretty good shape, the cartridge is in good shape, and yeah, I never played this game growing up on the N64, but I know a lot of people really enjoy it still to this day, so I am quite excited to have it. It can be a pricier one to pick up, I think, boxed and cartridge. Well, I can't remember what it goes for, but it's a decent dollar these days. So the fact that Ian found a good deal on two of them and was kind enough to trade me the one is much appreciated. So, yeah, my best pickup, or I guess you could call it the maple syrup pickup of the week, like my buddies, the thrift dwellers do. So thanks, you guys, and yeah, thanks, Ian. So, yeah. That's my pickups for this video. Thanks again to Ian for the trade. And what I'll do is I'll just do a quick pan over all the games I showed you. And that's how I'll end the video. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you folks again with another video soon. So later.